the life cycle of an electric vehicle battery, and the five R's principle for nurturing a circular economy. In the battle against climate change, the electric vehicle is emerging as a powerful ally. Yet, as we embrace the EV revolution, the key to sustainability lies not just in the vehicle's emissions-free journey, but in the life cycle of its heart, its battery. Electric vehicles, while reducing tailpipe emissions, carry a heavier carbon load during their production. Prematurely ending their lives contradicts our goal of reducing CO2. So how do we ensure the electric vehicle's green promise endures? The five R's. The first principle in cutting our CO2 emissions is to reduce our demand for new vehicles. By embracing transportation alternatives like ride-sharing, public transportation, and by minimizing our travel distances, we can decrease the need for new EVs. Reducing the need for new EVs will also require keeping EVs on the road longer. However, this requires a robust repair infrastructure. Whenever new technology is introduced to the marketplace, incentives that facilitate growth in the early stages play a key role. Demand then spurs further innovation and development, making the technology more efficient, and economies of scale result in greater affordability, resulting in wider appeal and adoption. As new products enter the marketplace, there is a portion of society that seeks to be the first to purchase cutting-edge innovations, often for no other reason than as a status symbol. These are the early adopters. Others, the skeptics, take a wait-and-see approach. Some people tend to resist change, preferring to stick with proven and familiar products. And then there are those who simply cannot afford the latest technology because prices are the highest in the early stages. Newer designs lead to greater efficiencies. However, as the technology matures, sustainability should trump constant upgrades, especially for the environment's sake. The second principle in cutting CO2 emissions and fighting climate change is extending the life of an electric vehicle through reuse. Reusing parts from decommissioned electric vehicles, such as those involved in accidents, especially electric vehicle batteries, avoids premature replacement of the entire vehicle. When an electric vehicle's battery capacity has degraded to below the manufacturer's recommended threshold, typically 75 to 80 percent, or when the range of the vehicle is reduced to below what its owner requires, the owner is faced with a dilemma. In most instances, the purchase price of a complete new battery will be greater than the value of the now used vehicle. In this case, it may make more sense to scrap the vehicle and purchase a new one. But this runs counter to the environmental aims of the transition to electric vehicles. This ties in with what we said about reducing the number of new vehicles purchased. But that cannot happen until alternative choices become more affordable which segues into the third R. The third principle in fighting climate change is repair. Repairing individual battery modules in an electric vehicle battery that has degraded below the threshold offers a new lease on the vehicle's life. A modern lithium ion battery used in the production of electric vehicles is composed of individual modules, each containing several to hundreds of individual cells. While the health of the rest of the battery may be good, just one module may compromise the overall health of the battery pack. Replacing individual modules or even cells may restore a battery to original specifications, or at least much closer to it. If repair of an existing battery is not possible or too costly for the consumer, remanufacturing is our fourth R. Remanufacturing is the process of bringing a product back to the same condition as a new product. This means that all components are checked and remanufactured, and any component that cannot be remanufactured is replaced with a new one. 
An EV battery with a state of health that has fallen below the acceptable threshold and where repair is not an option can be sold as a core to a factory that specializes in remanufacturing. Currently, there are very few facilities where this is being done, and it can be almost as costly as producing a new battery using raw materials. But with enough demand, inventory, and incentives, companies willing to invest in this new industry opportunity will emerge, providing yet another alternative to replacing an EV battery with a new one, or scrapping the entire vehicle for a new one. If a remanufactured battery cannot be brought back to the performance specifications required by an EV, it can be repurposed. Repurposing is the act of giving batteries a second life as an energy storage unit. By refurbishing and enhancing the performance of a degraded battery, we not only save resources, but also extend the EV's environmental benefits. Essential for a future dependent on renewable energy, this step aligns with our journey towards a sustainable future. And finally, recycling, the last of the five R's. While inevitable, recycling should be our last choice. To truly embrace a circular economy, we must prioritize reduction, reuse, remanufacturing and repurposing. By reducing the demand for raw materials, the recycling of electric batteries contributes to mitigating the negative environmental and social impact of mining. There are two methods of recycling a lithium-ion battery from an EV. The most common method is called the hydrometallurgical recycling pathway. In this method, the cells are first processed physically which may include shredding and separating by size, density, and magnetism. The resulting black mass, the mix of anode and cathode powder, containing graphite, lithium, and depending on the cathode material, cobalt, nickel, and manganese, is physically separated from the rest of the battery. In the subsequent hydrometallurgical step, the metals are recovered through acid leaching, an aqueous solution. A second method, depending on battery chemistry, is the pyrometallurgical recycling pathway. This is where the lithium-ion battery cells or modules are directly placed in a furnace and smelted at a high temperature. The industries involved in the 5Rs are in their infancy. Companies getting in on the ground floor now have tremendous opportunities ahead. As the adoption of electric vehicles proliferates, so will the inventory of used EV batteries, providing more and better choices in our pursuit of reducing the overall environmental impact of our transportation systems.